Hey, here we are at Lazy Days RVs in Tucson. It is Saturday, uh, the 10th of August, I think, and we are uh, getting ready to do our reveal. We're gonna run with Mike and go do some stuff. Stick around. <laughs> It's raining, thunder and lightning, and I'm going to turn around and you're going to see the RV that we got. There it is. It's the Chaparral. I'm going to turn this camera around. So, uh, it's raining. We've done everything. They're finishing up the final deal with the trucks. And then we're going to hook up and hit the road to go home. We chose the Coachman Chaparral. That's the RV that we chose. We're going to do a real good walkthrough when we get it home and everything. Maybe tomorrow or something, but because it's raining and everything. But that is the RV that we chose. And there's reasons why we chose this one, um, which we can go into at a later time. But uh, that's the reveal video. Now you know what we got. <laughs> There it is, 2019 Chaparral by Coachman. We're going to be hooking it up to the truck here shortly. Okay, so we're hooked up. It is raining. It rained uh, pretty much the whole way back. But uh, the, uh, as you can see here, the rear of the truck came down just a little bit, which is exactly what we expected and exactly what we wanted. Um, this this is sitting almost almost perfectly level. It looks really good. We wanted to make sure we had enough room between the bed of the truck and the cap of the RV. And as it turns out, this setup is exactly perfect. All right, so we're uh, we're towing. You can see it back there. Um, this trailer is towing very nicely uh, with this truck. Don't even hardly know it's back there. So um, yeah, we're uh, we're driving home in the rain, and uh, we've got our chaparral behind us, and we're uh, both very excited and very happy. Let me turn the camera around and show you what we're, what it looks like. Sunday morning, we're home. I started this video yesterday, and I'm uh, ending up doing it, finishing it today because we got on the road yesterday, and uh, it started uh, started to rain, but then it it really started to rain. It got pretty intense, so we uh, we just pushed on through, and then uh, when we got home, we got it unhooked and leveled and all that good stuff. Then we had to uh, go and finish helping uh, the daughter get moved out and so it got late and so I'm finishing this today. There's the hitch installed. It's the Kurt hitch. That's a 16,000 pound hitch. That's all we need because this coach, uh, this is a light coach. This coach I think the gross vehicle on it is like 11,000 pounds and so it doesn't, doesn't weigh a whole lot. Uh, pin weight's probably about 2,000, 2,500 pounds, somewhere around there. So we're uh, we're way good with this truck. I'm drinking my coffee too. So um, this is the brains. I already had this open, but this is where all the brains and some extra storage and stuff in here. This unit has uh, satellite prep here. It's got another light here. But uh, we have... In the truck, we have LED lights up there, and we have LED lights back here in the back as well. And so, at night, with the tailgate down, this whole area is completely illuminated, and <laughs> you can see very well what you're doing. Um, we've got dual propane tanks on this side. I mean, on one on this side, one on the other side. This is uh, storage, pass-through storage. 
turn the light on here. So there's the pass-through storage. <coughs> A lot of storage in there. Uh, that's the main battery switch. Um, and then this little thing here. Let me show you the, the front cap lights. They're blue. So, and then this coach also has auto level, so it's fully automatic. It will automatically level itself once you disconnect from the truck. Um, it will fully automatically level itself. And there's no need for those uh, little ramps that you have to drive up on and all that because it fully levels itself. Um, that's the end for the satellite cable, etc. That's the controls for the uh, water. Um, that's the uh, connections. This is black. This is city water. We bought a uh, voltage regulator, I mean a water regulator, to uh, regulate pressure because some city water is really, really, really uh, high pressure. Uh, it's the same with your house. Your house has a regulator in it as well. You just don't know it. Uh, we have, we bought a clear extension for the dump, for the uh, sewer dump, so that we can see <laughs> what uh, what the deal is. When that's running clear, we know it's clean. So <laughs> uh, it's got a little outside shower here. And then that's the, the plug. This is a 50 amp coach because it's split AC. Right now, um, I have it dog boned down so that I could plug it into the house so that I can uh, so that I can power up the, the converter to keep the battery charged. And so therefore, I can run the slides, I can turn the lights on, you know, that kind of thing. I just can't, I can't run the AC. So, um, but this will help me keep the inverter charged so that I can keep a full battery. And then, as you can see, we've got it backed up all the way to the RV gate here. We didn't go in the back. We don't need to. Go around the other side here. We'll take a little walk inside as well. Um, I got, I just got a uh, pin lock here. A lot of guys, they will get those uh, tripods and all that stuff. With a, with a self-leveling coach, it's not necessary. So that's just uh, it's a marketing thing, I, I believe. Outside speaker system. That is the uh, the other side for the uh, propane, and that's the other side for the, the storage. It's got an exterior electrical as well. You can see, slide comes right out there. Let's go on up inside. Hope I don't spill my coffee here. But we'll go on up inside here. Show you what it looks like. Now we did a video of this up at the dealer. But uh, we're redoing it, so let's turn on some lights in here. Um, and so this is the uh, interior. This is what it looks like inside. This is a 34-foot coach. And we discovered yesterday, I had measured with a tape measure to make sure that it would fit. And we discovered yesterday that my calculations were correct. A 34 coach is perfect to fit on the side of our house. And it is also uh, the perfect size for Ruth and I. So you got storage up there. Uh, this has the whisper quiet split air system. When you close these, when you open these, it pushes air through the coach. And then when it cools down, you close these because this is also the return. And so then it spits it out through the, through the duct work in the roof. And it's got a nice big TV there. And then the fireplace. This acts as a heater as well. The house, the, the unit has heat, but this will act as a heater as well. And then you can see all this cabinet storage, microwave up there. More storage and then the stove the refrigerator um, it was on I turned it off yesterday <coughs> because we're not using it right now uh, it's you, real easy you just hit the on button and then you hit auto here and what auto does 
is when it when it when you connect to power it uh, automatically converts over to electric and when uh, power is lost it will convert automatically over to the propane so that when you're running down the road you um, keep all your stuff nice and cool more storage here plenty of storage in this coach and my coffee this uh, there's the air conditioner uh, it's split level so you uh, can control both units from there this has got USB ports light switches this is the uh, control panel here this is the uh, leveling system so you can either level it from down outside or you can level it from inside the coach as well and then this is a, a Wi-Fi boost uh, booster here we'll go on up the stairs Let's see if I can there's a little light down there night light for night time come on up in here into the bathroom And uh, see if I can do this with one hand. We'll open up the shower. Let's take a look inside there. So there's the shower. Take a shower in there, no problem. Of course, there's the uh, commode and the sink. This is uh, Jack and Jill bathroom. Oh, that's what some people call it. I gotta go around the other way because the light switch. Uh, pocket doors here. What's cool about the pocket doors? That was another thing that another feature that we really liked is most of your doors they will open and they will open out outward or open this way. So you have to go down the stair and then open the door to go in the restroom. You don't have to do that with the pocket door. It just folds back. It's connected here. So it's, it's a lot cheaper to do the other kind of doors. So I do like this and that's pocket doors on both sides. And so um, queen size bed. This is a full queen size bed. There's storage underneath there and uh, plenty of room to walk around on both sides. There's the uh, second AC unit. And then uh, that's the, uh, the cable prep. We have to get a TV for in here, but uh, there's the cable prep satellite prep whatever for the tv some storage over there uh and so yeah this is our uh <clears throat> our new coach that we just bought and uh we think we're going to be very happy with this coach this is the floor plan that we liked this is the floor plan that we wanted and um <clears throat> one of the other contributing factors to the decision that we made with this let me show you here some of you know what this is asdell composite pack uh, panels asdell is lightweight material and it will not mold should you develop it re helps resist leaks but should it should you develop a leak uh, the asdell will not mold so you, it won't mold or mildew or any of that that was one of the big big contributing factors to our decision for this coach is the asdell not to mention those stairs that uh that we showed you they go all the way down they're not the aluminum ones that, that's, that hang in the air so it's a good solid footing uh this is a solid little coach toes very very nice when we uh came home yesterday didn't hardly even know it was back there. This is a split level sink as well. Which I like. That was another thing because some of the other rigs, they all had single sink. And uh, you got one side to wash, one side to dry, I guess. So, and then this has the uh, table and chair set up with the extended table here. So that's the coach we got, guys, boys and girls. And uh, this turns into a bed as well. But uh, this is the coach that we got, and we are very happy with it. And we think that we're going to see many years of, well, at least a couple <laughs> of good years of uh, solid fun and enjoyment. So... 
we will be pretty soon, I guess, planning a trip. I don't know. We'll have to, I don't know where we're going to go yet, but we're going to do a shakedown cruise here somewhere. So tag along with us for the ride. Until next time, thanks for watching the video.